and reviewing an all new mouse, the Pawnage Ultra Custom Mouse. And um, as you guys might know, I do have a, a Red Dragon wireless mouse right here. And this is what I use every day. It's what I've been using for the past few years. And it, it works fine. The, the only thing about this mouse is the, uh, the battery. I mean, the battery dies like every two weeks. I have to replace the battery. It makes it a lot heavier. I don't have a skill with me right now. But if I did, I this is not this is not what you want for for gaming. And I'm not I'm not like a pro gamer or anything like that. Like I'm far from that. Please, like if you know me, I do not know. <laughs> uh, but this gets annoying. And also, I thought it'd be a fun review because have you okay? There is a mouse out that is I I can't remember. I think it's like about a hundred dollars, around a hundred dollars. And um, it's uh like the Model O, the D, the the the. The uh, model minus. Uh, I'm not sure the. Uh, 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 Stop it. The ultra custom we have with us today starts at fifty dollars for the wired, goes up to a hundred for the wireless, and it's customizable. And on top of that, it's just like the the others with the mesh and the honeycomb design, along with a solid design. So let's get right into it. I've already opened up the box, as you guys can see, but, you know, whatever. So here's paperwork, and oh, there it is. So I did order the base mouse, the ultra custom base of the mouse, and the base is just the, uh, just the black, and it can eat, the base can either come in black or white, just either, either one you want. It's the ultra custom Pawnage Gaming mouse. So let's get into it. And I also did order the extra shell to, to customize it. It has green, they have green, yellow, orange, pink, red, violet, violet, uh, pink, blue, and another light blue. So if I can get my colors correct, that'd be awesome. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's, let's open it up. Um, we got the mini, the mini knife here. All right, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is packaged in like a rubbery kind of, rubbery, what am I saying? It's, it's just a bag, it's just a little bag. So we'll get into that later. And oh, I remember, <laughs> I remember I added this into the package just so we could try it out, see if it does anything. But yeah, this is the mouse. I'll, I'll show you guys that. that is very light. I might have to get a scale in here. I do have a small scale I could, I could bring in. Uh, and in here we've got an extra box of, I'm guessing accessories. It's very light. I don't know what would be in here. Um, extra shells, possibly. Yes, I ordered extra shells. What the heck, dude? I just spent my money. Okay, let's 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 look at this first. Let's look at this. I don't even know what this is. Oh, the mouse comes in white and black variants. That's so. So you don't you don't order one type. I think you just order. Or am I wrong? Am I just completely wrong? No, I'm not. It comes in everything. It comes in black and white. The the base box. If you guys just want black and white setup, you don't have to order the extra box like what I did. But I'm not really into the color white, so I might not put that on the mouse. But that's awesome to have. And wow. So if you guys just want a black and white mouse, uh, you just pick up the base, and it comes with all of it. I think I, that's what I'm. That's what I'm picking up here because I did not order that with it. So uh, that's just some extras. Oh, I'm already gonna break it. Great, 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 great. So as you guys are already tell the the honeycomb design here uh, and then it comes with honeycomb and just a solid uh, Design which you guys I mean, I don't know who would not like honeycomb. I've been I've never tried it I was just curious because I've seen it before put that there and let's open the rest of the box Just foam, you know be like that uh, and Here's the part where I thought just hysterical. So if you think it's too light and you want to make it more like my red dragon mouse over here 
Uh, you got some weights. Literal, just, yeah, actually, actually just have weights. So pretty much, I think these weights go inside of the mouse. So I I'm guessing, because what else, where else would it go? And then we also have extra grips. So if you guys need more grippiness and the DPI buttons, which we can put right on there. So the DPI buttons and the grips look awesome, along with the extra paperwork about how to install it. We will look at that never, hopefully. <laughs> you know how it be sometimes. <laughs> you know how it is. Oh, that, that computer build, man, that computer build. I was really in those instructions. I gotta say. Anyways. Let's get into the mouse itself. I'm taking too long. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's pretty cool. I, I wanna just wanna test it out right now, how it feels in the hand. I have a little bit smaller hands, as you guys can probably already tell. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you can already hear it tell I have like smaller hands. And dang, the, you guys hear the clickiness? Probably not. I'll probably just do a B roll right now. I think it's about the same packaging we had earlier with the red DPI buttons. I, I just bought the red, the red extra, uh, the extra red package. And let's see. Wow, that's a that's a lot softer red than I thought. It's more of like a. I'm breaking everything. Uh, it's more like a, sa a salmon kind of red. Salmon, salmon. Yes, salmon. <laughs> yes, uh, more of a salmon kind of red color ish more it's a lot tinted a lot more tinted a lot pinkier uh i don't have a problem with it i think it's just because of the lights we're in but we will see about that same thing with the mesh and the regular hard cover so uh i want to install these and do the black and red let's, let's okay oh it is magnets Magnets on the inside, so the, the screw, there's little magnetic screws that connect the magnets on the inside, so let's see how that works. You just drop it in there. I, just, I have to have it in. A few moments later. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Okay, I finally got it. Um, yeah, so pretty much, wow. Pretty much just taking it off, you just put your finger underneath and you pull it out like that. And to put it back on, you pretty much put the hooks on the track and it slaps right back on there like that. And so for now, pretty much just make it all black and red. We would just add this on right here. I'm gonna try and see how that looks. Later on, after the video, I might try out some different uh, uh, combinations maybe. But you know, I, I don't know. Let me just try some things out right now. Ooh, look at that. Red on, okay, you're gonna drop it. That, that's how light it is. It's so light, I, I could just, don't no, stop a card. Stop. So this 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 is night and day. I have to say, like this is cr this is crazy how different. This is so much heavier. This is like a dog and an elephant. That's the worst comparison I've ever. What am I saying? You know what, Ricardo? You're right. That is a bad comparison. Let me take over. All right. So for the measurements, we go with the pawnage. Ultra Custom, we put it on the weight, and it is 2.1, 2.2 ounces. Now, let's go ahead and take that off, and let's put on my Red Dragon mouse with the battery inside. It is 4.1 ounces, because uh, you're going to have the battery in it at all times. I mean, how else would you use it? And we're going to do the Honeycomb, and it's 0.1 ounces, so that adds 0.1 ounces, and the regular shell, 2.2 uh, ounces, as you can see, and then the interchangeable clicking shell is 0.1 as well so now we're going to go on to the weights and the weights we're pretty much just going to do one let's see how much it weighs and as i predicted zero all right let's put the whole tray on there 
and 0.6 ounces it adds 0.6 ounces if it's too light and at the moment of me recording this right now I do like it with the weights quite honestly I tried playing it without the weights and I was it was slipping out of my hands it was really light and um, I just don't hold on to my mouse that hard so it is 2.7 ounces with the weights now something I do miss from my old mouse is the grip as you can see right here in this shot my last mouse has a lot of grip and the new one does have that honeycomb design that I do actually like but it's not as grippy the thing about these grips is that if your hand gets sweaty it does get a little bit slippery and it did slip and it felt kind of weird because it was an extra layer uh, onto the mouse so I did take it off later after trying it for a few hours and I wasn't a fan uh, so yeah and you can actually easily stick it right back on to the paper that was there before I downloaded the ultra custom drivers and then I scroll down a little bit after I restart my computer and delete the other software it says ultra custom wired drivers and this is a wired mouse so if you guys do p pick up the mouse and pick up the wireless mouse it download this one if you're like me want to save some money want to do some faster latency uh, you want to download this one so uh, yeah download all right, guys, so this is the software to customize it. I can customize all these buttons uh, for different things, but right now I'm going to customize the LED to see how this works for the different lights and the RGB inside of the mouse. So uh, let's check it out. Pr Prismo? Prismo is what we got going on right now, so let's change it, see what else there is. Breathe. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. So it's just breathing the color red. Isn't that sick? Um, heart. Is that just gonna be like a beating? It's just gonna be beating? Oh yeah. Ooh. It's gonna be flowing. It's gonna be flowing through the whole mouse. Check that out. Flowing through the whole mouse. So yeah, guys. Uh, that's software. I'll leave that both links in the description below so you guys can check out the download Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed the review of the Pawnage Ultra Custom Gaming Mouse. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, but my final thought about this mouse is it's 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 a great all-around mouse. It has uh, RGB, which is very important, of course. You've got the, the honeycomb design, which is great for ventilation and for how light it is. It has the, the weight tray if you guys ever need any 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 weights. It has two side buttons, it has interchangeable shell for $50 starting at the wired version and $70 for the for the wireless version. Looking at the competition, the more popular competition from Glorious Gaming Mice. I, I'm not I have nothing against Glorious Gaming Mice, but I'm just I always try to give you guys a better deal and the wireless starts at 70. The wire starts at 50 and the glorious starts at 80 for the wireless now a couple grimes i did have with this mouse was not that the cord would get caught in anything i'm not having that type of problem i am enjoying the low latency there's 12 weights in the tray and i've taken half of the weights out and it, it really does make a difference uh it can be too light sometimes and and on the glorious gaming mouse website it's pretty funny uh they have the claim lightest mouse on earth or something around those lines this actually weighs in at uh, just everything by itself with the honeycomb uh, shell and everything it weighs in at 2.1 grams if you guys are into gaming I think this is a great mouse one thing I did have a problem with when I was playing some games last night was when my hand was getting sweaty the the clicky part of the mouse where, where you hit the button the buttons were getting a little bit um, let's say it was letting off a little bit of a residue, which was kind of weird to me I didn't really know what was going on, but after I kind of like dried my hands it, it wasn't there anymore uh, But it did leave a little bit of a residue on there I think it's just first first time using it and the software is great and it's an all-around good mouse uh, So I'll leave all the links in the description below uh, If you guys like the video make sure to leave a like down below if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification because you guys will know when i put up a new video until you turn on that bell notification thank you all for watching see you guys in the next one